Hey guys. In the last video, we have added the score system, and in this video, we will learn how to save the high score. So, let's get started. First, we have to know how to save a score in device local storage. When we play a game, we make some progress. That progress must be saved in the local storage or online server if we want to use that progress in future. Because when we close the game and open it next time, the game will not recover the previous progress automatically. If we save the previous progress data in the local storage, then we can retrieve that progress data from the device's local storage. If we save the data in the online server, then we can retrieve the data from any device where the game is installed, doesn't matter if the device is a mobile or a computer. Online database servers are usually used in multiplayer online games. Since, this game is going to be a single player offline game, so we only need the device's local storage to save the data. In this case, we will be using the score system script to save the high score. So, I am going to open it. So, what should we do first? When the game is over, we will get the saved high score and then compare with the current score. If we find the score is greater than the saved high score, then we will save the score as the high score. But, what if user opens the game for the first time when no high score is saved in the storage? Don't worry. We don't need to check if there is a data called high score is already saved in the local storage. Because, if there is no high score data saved in the local storage, we will get zero as the high score value automatically. So, first we have to detect if the game is over inside the update function. This is going to be an if condition. So, in order to detect the game over, we have to find the player game object. Then get the player controller script. Now, we can get the is game over variable. Now, if the is game over variable is true, it means the game is over, and this is the time to save the high score. Unity has a data saving system called player prefs which we will be using to save the high score. Now, we will get the high score from the local storage using player prefs. Remember, we don't have to make sure whether there is a high score available in the local storage, because we will get zero if there is nothing saved in the player prefs database. So, inside an if condition, we will write player prefs dot get int. Now we have to pass a parameter which is the key of the data. Because, a data is stored under a specific key, so we can retrieve the data by calling the key name. We can write high score. Using this line we are fetching an integer type data. Now, we will write less than symbol and then the score variable. It means, we get the value of the high score data, and then check whether the value is less than the current score. If the current score is greater, then we will write player int. Here we have to pass two parameters. First one is the key and second one is the value that we want to save. The name is high score, and the value is the score variable. Now, we want to show the high score in the console, so that we can see the result using the console window. To do that, we have to type debug.log and then we can write a message that we want to show. As we want to show the high score, so we can write this. You can show any message here. However, now save the script and open then Unity Game Engine. Now. We will play the game to check if it's working.
so, we can see the game is over and the message has shown. We made a new high score. This message will not show if we made less than the high score. Now, I am going to replay the game and this time I will try to make more score. Okay, so we can see we have made a new high score again. So, this is it for this video, and I will see you in the next video.